Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the Wackle River Basin project, which is an example of small scale sustainable water supply. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. The Wackle River Basin is located in the south of Rajasthan, an extremely arid region dominated by the Tar Desert in northwest India. The climate is extreme. It receives less than 250 millimetres of rainfall annually, with most of this falling during the monsoon season. Temperatures can also exceed 50 degrees in the summer, which means evaporation rates are high. Despite the harsh conditions here, the area is quite densely populated, so there is a great demand for water. The little water that is available for consumption has been managed poorly. Too much irrigation has led to waterlogging and salinisation which has destroyed crops. Over abstraction by pumps has also been a huge issue, leading to the water table dropping significantly and wells drying up. In this area, water use is unregulated and people can take what they like. This means that water sources have no time to recharge and as a result, water scarcity is a big issue. In order to improve water security in the region, the Global Water for Sustainability program was funded by the US Agency for International Development with the aim of increasing water supply and storage and raising awareness of the need for water management amongst local communities in the Wackel River Basin. Local people are fully involved in this project and are supported by the charity. They are in charge of setting up the scheme and maintaining it and enabling them to improve water security for themselves and reduce their risk of water shortages in the future. A key part of the project is collecting and storing water through rainwater harvesting, which is a cheap and simple solution so it is appropriate to the needs of local people. With this system, water collected from roofs makes its way down to underground storage tanks known as tankers. These are about 3 metres across and 3 to 4 metres deep, like you can see on the screen. The water stored saves people from the daily task of walking long distances to fetch water from sources which are often contaminated. Rainwater is also captured by small earth dams known as Johead, which have been highly successful in raising the water table by up to 6 metres and rivers that previously dried up once the monsoon season were over are now flowing all year round. This stored water is then transferred to the field to water the crops using irrigation channels known as pats, where the water is diverted using a small stone dam called a bund. This controls the flow of the water, you can see that just on the screen. Local farmers take turns to use the water and when it is their turn to use the water they are also responsible for maintaining the channel to stop silt building up. The other important aspect of the project is education around how to conserve water. The charity involved has educated the local people on how to conserve water effectively and how water conservation will reduce the risk of groundwater pollution, soil erosion and desertification. These will increase water security and therefore food security. The Wackle River Basin project is an example of a sustainable strategy to increase water supply. Sustainable solutions have the following five features in common. Firstly, they are small scale. They improve the quality of life for individual communities rather than whole regions or countries. And they're easy to manage and they're relatively cheap. They also involve appropriate technology. These are small projects using basic machinery that are cheap and easy to maintain, for example hand pumps. This is better than using complex machinery that requires specialist skills to operate and maintain. Sustainable water projects need to be managed by the local community rather than relying on other people. For example, local people build and maintain them, so if they break down, they know how to carry out repairs. They also involve local decision making. Local people decide what they need to improve their water supply and where they will build their project. And they might also think about how big it is, etc. This is an important part of sustainable solutions. It's not just telling people involved what they need. Therefore, there is more buy-in and 
projects like this are more likely to be effective. Finally, they involve non-governmental organisations. NGOs have no government funding and they rely on donations such as Oxfam and WaterAid who both work across LICs and NEEs to improve access to safe and reliable water supplies. NGOs are important here as they give local communities the support and skills they need to get their sustainable water projects up and running. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the Wackle River Basin project. Thank you for watching.